do, do. Craig Edgy Show, screaming into the void. Hey film fans, you're watching Screaming Into The Void. I'm Craig. I'm Bruce. And I'm Harry. So, this week we're going to be talking about the Big E, Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. Or, I've been waiting to say this all week, or more like Infinity Bore. Am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah? Shut the fuck up. What? <laughs> it took me ages to come up with that. Infinity Bore. Infinity you've, Bore. That's the best you could come up you've with. You've pissed me off from the start. Why? <laughs> you went into the film hating it. How do you know? You said that. <laughs> I didn't know. So I didn't go into hating it. You was like, it's going to be crap. No, I didn't say that. You went in with the idea that you weren't going to like it from the start, though. Because I could, I foresaw the the, the problems that did Craig arise. Foresaw the prophecy. I foresaw the problems. He's a master. He knew. He's Thanos. He studied <laughs> the Marvel films in and out, and he knew Infinity War was going to be Infinity War. It's just a, well, it's a similar kind of issues that keep cropping up with them, isn't it? I see what you mean about it was for a, a film that's got a lot of action. It was quite slow. Uh, did you think so? You thought it was quite slow, you thought it was a bit boring or something. It was It was quite slow. It wasn't like all in your face, like action everywhere, like I thought it was going to be an all out war because of the word. War in <laughs> the film. Infinity, Infinity War. Infinity, Infinity Skirmish, war. wasn't it? More like Infinity. <laughs> Infinity. Infinity, not really much went on. Infinity Battlers, I would call it. Infinity Battlers. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Did you think like Black Panther was a good battler? He's a good no, battler. No, he weren't because he wasn't even in it. He was in it. I saw some purple things going around. He was like, <laughs> you're right. Like, actually, they didn't use his like his absorption thing. No, they did. Did they that much? Yeah, there yeah, was loads it of was, purple things going off. It was really badly done. You come, you see him come out of nowhere. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then it turned to like Cap America hitting people with his tooth shields. Yeah, I really didn't like his tooth shield. I, I hated good, did they? his shield. Apparently, I think that is something to do with the comic books, isn't it? He does get something like that in the comic Don't books know. at some point. I'm not a big comic book reader. I know. Marvel. We just need to get this man an actual shield. He rocked the stubble. Get there, this man he? some toothpicks. <laughs> felt felt like they went a bit Lord of the Ringy there with like Thor and Oaken Shield, whatever his name is. Yeah, that did remind me of that. No, you're right. It did remind me of that a little bit. Yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. That, yeah, that's spot on. It did remind me. Of that. Um, someone sent me a link today of a picture of. Um, and they said like when you it was something like when you copy someone by accident so that's when you copy your oh, Star homework, Wars one and there's a Star Wars one where like <laughs> Phantom it's Menace. exactly the same as the final battle with Phantom Menace they've even got the shields like the invisible shields and like, the, 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 the domes over the top and stuff <laughs> you know what it's in it it's like it's like uh, initiate the defences or something like, <laughs> like that and it's like and then it says and it's like and get this man or something or other and it's it's pretty funny Okay. That sounds I'll hilarious. Have to <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to think. He said something. Really I funny. think in the video we're going to have to have the picture because that was... That that, was oh, yeah, you have to find it. That was dying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing that gets me Man of Shield. It feels a bit like that was a trailer bit and it doesn't quite fit into the movie that much. It was Not like a all. cool line for him to say, like, get this Man of Shield. But it just kind of was like, I it don't didn't, know. Didn't fit at all, did it? It felt like something they had for the trailer. What? <laughs> 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 it's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um... So, uh, pick a week. <laughs> but what is Thanos, yeah. Well, he's <laughs> got all of them, isn't he? I think he's got all the Avengers. So, all the boys. After we watched it, I turned to you, Bruce, and your reaction was meh. But I so was, sorry, I was wasn't it? so disappointed. Yeah. I was really looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it because I really like Civil War. I liked, I liked the first Avengers where they all actually start to group together and they have their problems and they get on with it and they have to work together. And... I thought Infinity War was actually going to be kind of the, a crowning achievement of mm. what Marvel has been doing for 10 years. Yeah. And I was super excited when I went in and I was just really disappointed when I left. Why? It was fun. It was enjoyable. I totally recommend you to go and watch it, but it was hollow. Yeah. I think that sums up my feelings pretty well as well. It's, it's absolutely, like I said, it's a fun movie and there's good action in it and there's lots of funny bits in it and fun. And it's nice watching them like the characters work off each other, but there's not much more than that, is there? No. Other than, oh, it's nice that Tony Stark's now met the Guardian. I mean, it was yeah, like yeah, fun, yeah. but uh, there's no... Uh, like, so, like you said, it felt like there should have been a, a culmination of like, all these films. Because like, everyone's saying oh, it's, it's building up to a grander plan. They're, they're going to deal with it this time. This time they're going to deal with all the, the kind of issues they built up. finally got to the, and what then they should, they were like, going to deal with it and they didn't, they didn't and deal like, with it. Oh, we all those other films, all the storylines of other films, yeah, forget about them. It's yeah, Thanos now. Don't worry about them. <laughs> it's Thanos now. I it? think they did a good job in terms of Thanos' character <clears throat> development in such a short space of time. Yeah, he was quite, he was a decent 
villain, which is one of the problems with most Marvel movies, isn't it? The villains are pretty. Yeah, they don't give them enough to work with. Black Panther's one was good. Yeah, that's one, one of the rare good. examples where it's um, good. Yeah, and, where, and but then I think and that maybe it. they put too much time to Thanos in this one. Because so I think we didn't see much of. Mm-hmm. Um, is it Killmonger, Warmonger? What's the one? What's he? Called? He was in it enough, wasn't he? But yeah, I know. But like, there wasn't enough. But we saw enough Oof. of his. His scenes were impactful. Where I think Thanos just had a little bit too much. He's almost the main character this time. He's almost like driving the plot forward, isn't it? Yeah. Like he's the one with the main plan and the goal. Although I've heard of someone saying about the. Uh, his the weird thing is that his plan is exactly the same as Samuel Jackson's in Kingsman. <laughs> to kill off the population and stuff like that. It's just exactly the <laughs> and same. And it's exactly the same. Like. It's just a, um, Harry is currently surfing yeah, for he's, me. He's, that's, that's why, why. he has been a bit quiet. Right? <laughs> he, don't, he can't. We started the podcast with him, cut him out. We didn't like any of his ideas. So yeah. it's just crazy. You're still out. here, aren't you, Harry? I'm still here. I'm what are you looking for? I'm trying to find it. What, so the I picture? Don't, I don't look to the... Can't we just post it on the video? Later. We'll, put it, we'll find it later, Harry. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't see this on like, Imagine if this is on like, <laughs> it was on telly. What? And there's, there's us three sitting in the studio, and this is Harry on his phone. It was like after, if I did it on Sky Sports or whatever, and they're like, and Jamie Redknapp's like, yeah, I saw something. I'm like, Hang on, let me find it. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> scrolling around him, and he's just like, fuck <laughs> 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 off. No, I'm just. So what? You Go liked on, it, though. You you liked it. You uh, you you really liked it, didn't you? You said, come and said it was the greatest movie ever. I think the greatest superhero movie ever. Is that the one you're on about? No. Why are we looking at Star Wars movie? You know? <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Um, All right, it's over. It's man. fine. Put we'll find down. it later. Okay. We'll put it in the video. Put your phone down on the cardboard box over there. That's it. That's it. Put it away. Put right. So, away. Harry, Thanos. Yeah. You liked it. You liked Avengers, yeah? Back to the room. Back to the room. Avengers. I really, I did like it. I see your points for not liking it, but I thought it was a good film. That's good. So you That's me done. Yeah. But what were your favourite bits? What was your favourite bits? What did you like about it? Thor. Yeah. Because he's my favourite mm-hmm. yep. ever. I liked he's I liked it that he was with um Rocket. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. It and makes that, the most sense in meeting them, doesn't it? And him meeting yeah. them a lot because they're the ones both from off of Earth. None of the others have left Earth other than Hulk. See, in theory, you've got a good point. That they actually felt like that was a relationship that could work. And made sense. Yeah, as a crossover, world, yeah. didn't it? Mm. Yeah, I didn't even think about it really because I enjoyed it like you said well, if, you but as an actual... if you looked at all the posters they're in like it's like Thor with them it's like yeah. mm. um, Iron Man with yeah. Doctor Strange and all that so actually a lot of the posters actually did a plot of the film yeah. of how everyone was together and I'm going to group up mm. I think yeah, as you know characters interacting I think that was one of the better ones it was the smartest way to do it you couldn't have put Tony Stark with them no. they did in the end because of how it all, how they met and stuff like that mm. But that was the best route to do it. He, they saved him from a call in space. Otherwise, Thor would have died yeah. in space. Yeah, probably. If he didn't save him. Oh, they were just going to like get the window washers out. Of it. Get the <laughs> yeah, window wipers. Wipe it is to wipe him off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was quite good. I think they tried to put too much comedy in a film that didn't need it. That's kind of Marvel's thing though isn't it that they're the funny ones isn't they I think they, well, they their default setting is make it funny isn't it I think a lot of I mean time. they did really well as we said in the Black Panther one of our favourite ones mm. or the, our favourite Marvel movie oh yeah definitely they've definitely. done other than Ant-Man oh, we know. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about Ant-Man or the lack of Ant-Man later later anyway go on they killed him off didn't they spoiler <laughs> <laughs> yeah by the way spoiler alert if anyone hasn't seen it oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry boys and girls yeah good job yeah. Um, well I, I think... don't think we spoiled too much we, we, you know no. the falls in it and you know no, yeah, yeah. the galaxies in it I mean they went straight in for killing people straight yeah no, like the opening, opening scene, scene the the Loki and Heimdall yeah and I think that was a big sign to say like people are gonna die people are gonna die the thing no, is, no important. they actually died. Yeah. They actually died. Yeah, for I reals. know. It's, yeah. For real, that we know of. So, well, good But Loki's already come back once. So, they're still leaving the door open. I know Thor said, I think it's for reals this time, but. Yeah, he's but still leaving the door open that he it always gives. Yes, yeah, he's the trickster, isn't he? Yeah, so he gives him the opportunity. All that stuff. He's a mischievous. Well, I think they've run out of ideas with him, hasn't they? There's only so much. Even when I felt like that with Thor Ragnarok, that well, I the, there's only so times well, you can betray Thor, him, then come back to good side, well, then try him again. Well, Thor Jordan. Ragnarok is the whole point of Odin's in the Odin sleep. Yeah, all the enemies come to the door to break it down. Thor defends it. Loki gets Hulk. Um, takes Bruce Banner out of Hulk's body. 
He then controls him and then uses Hulk to fight Thor, beat him up and take over Asgard and that's Ragnarok. What's this? Is this in the book? Comic this book. is comic book. I was thinking, I don't remember that bit in the film. This, <laughs> yeah, no, no. This is, this is what's supposed to happen in okay, Ragnarok. This right. is what everyone was expecting. Oh, right, okay. And Ragnarok was a complete fucking flip, sorry, Borg. Um, flip turn of what it was yeah, but that's, what that's Ragnarok fine. is I don't think they should be exact I mean Infinity War isn't exactly the same as the comic books from what I understand I've not read them but I've, no because they were supposed to die or Civil War was, wasn't exactly the same no because I'm pretty sure Cap America and Tony Stark die in Infinity War I hope Captain I hope Tony Stark now dies in that planet right. where he got stabbed alright why is that because right. how can he survive that he shanked him straight that's a, that through was the... another thing that again shows you people are it's that all fine. Me it's off. like he gets stabbed and you think, oh, that would be a good moment for him to die. I thought, and then I it's thought like, that's oh, the oh, best way. Oh, no, it's fine. That's the best thing, <laughs> they, could, that's that's the best thing they could have done with it. <laughs> yeah. Is kill off Tony Stark and then you can bring him back however you want with Infinity Gauntlet after you've got it back and stuff like that. I've got a feeling, well, this might be your theory anyway, so we'll get back to that later. We'll, we'll come back to that bit. In a minute. Yeah. But the I end, think that's what they should have done with it. And then obviously, as I was saying, I really like Thor's path because... He's just awesome. Do you not feel bad that it, it's this is a big part of it? Like the whole point of Thor Ragnarok was like Asgard's gone, but we're the people and we can move on. And then they me? all die. And they all die off screen. And you just think, and it doesn't seem to be like Thor doesn't seem to bad much. He talks about it and he has that bit where he gets. Yeah, that little bit. Then I made that comedy as well. Yeah, even that turns becomes more of a joke. Like I'm not bothered. I'm not. And you're like, okay, like it's, it's funny, fine. But my, my father died. My surely, brother died. Like, what about your mom? She's dead too. I know. <laughs> maybe it's like, <laughs> like, a like, funny joke, but. <laughs> There's no um, like follow on from it. Like these people have died, and it feels like the whole point of Thor Ragnarok, the whole message of it, is just like, nah, it don't matter. And it's like that a lot of the time in the films. Like in like Spider Man is like, yeah. I don't need to be an Avenger. I just I can be a, a hero and help the people wanna, who are, like, are close to yeah, me. Yeah, how can I be a friendly Spider Man if I'm yeah? But now then it's just like, no, you're Avenger. Like in the first scene, it's like, yeah. here's your suit that you turned down last time, your robotic suit. Here's your like join, and it's just now like, you're an Avenger. Yeah. I didn't and like was, um, Bruce Banner in it at all either. I wasted him. I feel like, it. yeah, he had the opportunity once again to come back, be all sciencey, be kind of clever, and they're like, let's just try and make him the comic relief of the film and stick mm. him in the Hulk suit. And it didn't work. I didn't enjoy him at all. I couldn't see the point of... Part of me thinks maybe it's because in Thor Ragnarok he was he was Hulk most of the time, so this time he's going to be Bruce Banner. But why most then of the time? stick him in the Hulk suit and make him try to pretend to be Hulk? Because otherwise, what else is he going to do? But it was really but they, shit. They, they, was, they were, there was a good bit where. He actually used his brain rather than his brawn. Where the bit where he's fighting the big guy, then like he, he was like, "Fine, I'll do it on my own," and sends him up and ends up killing him without using Hulk whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, it felt like an accident. No, it weren't. He's like, "Fine, I'll do it myself." Didn't he? he sent him up. It felt a bit like, and it was like too easy. He was like Anakin oh, in it, episode one when he accidentally. This button looks cool. <laughs> and he like blows up the ship. Whoopee! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was just a bit yeah. like, oh, you know what we should do? Put Bruce Banner in the suit. In the that light, was why? because <laughs> as I know what you mean. I, I see just... what they've done because Hulk doesn't like being defeated and starts getting all like like a big kid, like oh, don't do it anymore, like sulking. Mm. But he shouldn't have sulked through the whole movie. I don't know. He would have done. He does it in. I was a bit of a silly. I don't really get it because he, he he sulked when he was losing to Thor. Yeah, in yeah. Ragnarok. And then he didn't come out. He was like, he was like, come on, big guy. Like, sun's real low. Yeah, I think but the, they, uh, they completely wasted that as well. The Black Widow, yeah, the Hulk coming back. It See, felt like there was no emotion in the film. See, this is my point. Why spend ten years of building up a franchise mm-hmm. and having intimate stories and relationships and then characters, and then just forget about it? Mm. You, spend, you finally have the opportunity. He's been gone for a couple of films. You've got crossovers going on. You have a chance to really. You've built up these characters. You've seen them rise and fall, rise and fall, and now you just forget about it. It'd been two for years. really bad action scenes. Yeah, for fight scenes that didn't really mean much anyway. Mm. And then to ultimately, for me, have an ending that didn't really hit as hard as what he could have done. I've wanted an ending like that for loads of different films. Yeah, but, but it's Marvel, isn't it? It, it was just like they seem afraid to to go there, don't they? It's, Dis- it's Disney. Like, say when Gamora mm. died or Loki died. It felt like, I was like, all right, okay, you're right. It feels a bit real. Yeah, that felt, was a good... felt a bit hard-hitting. Good... But when you get to the final scene and, you know, the event happens, disappointed. Mm. I think you're right. It feels like 
You, it's like the last episode of a TV series. You want it all to kind of come together and all those kind of storylines to be resolved, don't you? Yeah. You want like, Captain America and Iron Man to talk. Like, and, and yes, exactly. Yeah, Captain America. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. no, none of that. we got to get to the fighting. we got to get to the Thanos stuff. And it was just a bit like... Well, to be fair, he didn't call Captain America, did he? No, no, no but surely... he it, it, They left <clears> that there, but then Bruce Banner was like, yeah, meet us here. But it had get no... Vision. It's got no, but, like, no you would have You would have liked for them to talk, wouldn't you? You would have liked for that conversation to have happened. Yeah. And everyone keeps saying, next movie, next movie. Maybe it will, but you can't keep... Pushing it off. Pushing it off. I honestly thought they would be Infinity War Part 1 and 2, or whatever they decide to be the next one. There is, yeah. Um, I thought they would be the the two best, like, you know... Marvels. Two best Marvel films, because of what you've built up as characters. But Mm. for it to to be so fun and so hollow, with so many characters. Captain America had no screen time. I know, I was really shocked by that. I was really disappointed. Iron Man and Captain America are the two main carriers of the film. And like you say, oh, next time, you know, they're the two who are going to do it. But that's the next film. Mm. Why not in this film? Why can't they they give him something? He didn't do anything that was spectacular, Captain America, did he? Iron Man at least had some emotion, you know, getting stabbed and some feelings with Tom Holland and everything. Yeah, the the father-son relationship thing. But Captain America had nothing. Not really, did he? I say, and like in the, when you have the trailer with that, when he stops the gauntlet and the hand, mm. it looked really cool, and I thought there'd be a really good build up to it, mm. but there wasn't. It's like a literally a fight. Everyone got thrown away, scene. and I and thought it was cool, but I would have liked a one on one kind of fight for yeah. like 20 seconds. Like, it would have been really cool to see Captain America, the only person who could stand up to Thanos mm. and still fail. I think that would have been the, f- that would have the been first really, time. Do you know, heavy hitting? Mm. The first time we actually see. Like his super soldier jeans was when he's running into battle. Mm. That's the only time I've actually felt like I've seen. It. Obviously, like it held the helicopter in the Civil War and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. But you've actually seen him use his super soldier jeans like properly. I don't think we've properly seen it throughout the films. Yeah. What about when he's fighting everyone? Yeah, but he's Black, Black Widow does that like exactly yeah, the, not same. the same strength. Though, I don't think. I think. I think. He wasn't in it that much either, was she? No, she didn't say anything at all. I like you say, the bit between her and Bruce Banner, he's gone for ages, he comes back, they're like, hey there. He and comes around the corner and he goes, there he goes. And, and that that's it. it, she sort of looks a bit, and that was it. There Rhodey was no can walk again, love that. Yeah, no I problems. could just get into a suit, he's like, get some, get some. <laughs> exactly. he's like, and he's like, the Sokovia, Sokovia, whatever, Accords. Accords, or whatever, they're like, yeah, they're that mouth. Just chuck it, literally, just chuck it away, literally like. Well, it no, was, no, they, they all still like that, but the, the heroes, heroes were. Yeah, but the whole point was meant to be some of the heroes agreed with it. Yeah, I know. Rhodey did, and then he was like, "Yeah, but we're getting attacked." Right? Yeah, and then Vision, he agreed with it. Do you know what I mean? It's no. just, the, I feel like, yeah, you've spent so much time building up personality. He had a lot of screen time, didn't he, Vision? Yeah, I was bored mm-hmm. of it. I think what was good was that there was a lesson learned where he said, "Just kill me now, just destroy it, what? just destroy it," and she waits right until the end, right when Thanos is there, and he just uses a time stone, reverses it, and goes, "Well, I'm just going to kill him anyway." And that's another thing because they've already had they've set up the time stone where they can reverse time. Yeah. So I suppose we might as well talk about the ending now, the big ending where half of the the MCU are, are killed. Yes. In the well, in quotes, we, well shocking well, finale, where do you mean where they? All how sort did you find the ending, Harry? Did you like it? Was you were you like we shocked, shocked, blown away? Like, oh, did you expect God. it? What the ending? Yeah, yeah them all dying. I knew it was something was going to happen. Yeah. Didn't know how they was going to do it. Or if he would be successful in the first one. Because I think in the comic books he is, and the half from do die. Mm. In the second, in the second part of it, um, they somehow get the time stone back. Oh, what a surprise. And Doctor Strange uses it at things, or uses it at points. And then Thanos uses it on Thor, and makes Thor older. Like, really, like, all the other ones get old and die, because they're all human. But because Thor's so old, he's, like, 1,500 years old already. Yeah, he doesn't really age that much. The older Asgardians get, the stronger they get. <clears throat> so he's, like, using the time stone on. He's just he's just going through it and, like, starts hitting them away and stuff like that. And then they come back, and then he brings them all back, and then they defeat Thanos. Okay. That's what happens. So See, I don't I know think if they'll use that. You've got a theory. I think I, think I know what your theory is going to be, but... Mine's that they're all in the soul stone. Is that what you think? They've all been taken and put in the soul stone. They've been taken and put in the soul stone. And uh, Doctor Strange, he saw, was it 42 billion or whatever? 14 billion. 40 million. And there was only one where they win. Yeah. And at the end to Tony, he says, doesn't he? Sorry, this Tony. Is the only way. This is the only way. So, so he's that, obviously got something up his He knows that yeah. this is going to happen yeah. and there's nothing they can do about it. 
So he has but to, they still he win. Has to let it happen because of the way it happens is the way that yeah. they win. So Doctor Strange has figured it out, but he knows he's going to die. So, so, then, so he even foresaw the bit where Chris Pratt, Star-Lord, starts smashing him in the face right when they're about to take the gauntlet exactly. off of him. So he knows and he doesn't stop him. Yeah, he, he doesn't stop him. He could portal him away. Someone said that he could portal away Spider-Man. He never does, does he? No. Or he could chop, portal him back he just chop Thanos' arm off like he did the other guy? Yeah, I don't know. Like Wong did. I mean, it was... Uh, do you there's, feel a lot of, there's a lot of things the deaths, he could have done. The deaths lacked impact because it wasn't, like you said, real. Like the other Loki ones, they felt like they were earned and real. Yeah. Like Loki and Heimdall, when they killed him, he was like, Heimdall's dead. Yeah, exactly. I can, and I can it's understand... Like, I, I feel... I don't like Loki's bad guy, but you feel bad because yeah. he's died because oh, he's Thor's brother. Oh, we've got and stuff, yeah. And the thing is, it's also... The whole, I think the whole idea was meant to be, oh my god, it's so, so callous and random that they've just taken away all these characters for all the things they fought for. It's just gone now. One thing I didn't agree with, but, 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 okay. I felt that actually took away from the impact of their deaths because it didn't feel earned or there was a point no. to it. It was just for the sake of oh, they're half of them. Let's just dead. cut half them. So that it's way, not, so that way we could have more screen time for the other guys. Well, look, yeah. I didn't agree, with... and it's who they killed as well. But yeah, we'll get back to that. I now. didn't agree with why they took away all of the Guardians of the Galaxy because you didn't feel sorry for any of them. Other than Rocket, he's the only one who didn't. Was Rocket not taken away? No, no. He's still I alive. thought he died. He's still oh, alive okay. Well, see, I didn't see. Then. I thought Quill was gonna survive, but he didn't. So Rocket's the only one that. Rocket was the only one that survived. Hmm. Well, that's out of his and Thor's relationship then. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's cemented that. Maybe that's why they had so much time in there. Uh... Oh, yeah. No, sorry, because Rocket... Um, He's on Earth, isn't Rocket he? and Groot was on Earth with Thor, wasn't he? Groot goes, doesn't he? Yeah. Sorry, I thought they all and went. Then... I forgot Groot, because all of them... It just left Tony Stark on his own, didn't it? Mm. Up in space. No, with um, Nebula. Yeah, she's there. Oh, and she... She she's did alive, die. isn't she? Um, but it's also who they killed, isn't it? So yeah. we've got Black Panther dead, <laughs> Bucky dead. Do you mean yep. a lot of his other? Um, who else? As you say, Guardians most of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Doctor Galaxy. Strange, people that we kind of know. Spider Man. Other, spy, other films coming soon. Yeah, it's so stupid, really isn't it? And they're like the new hero. So surely this the next is why one they shouldn't re- say they're gonna releasing be, films because you're like they've tried to. They tried to say that they haven't announced Doctor Strange two, and they've tried to keep it under wrap about oh, Guardians of the Galaxy three. But everyone knows they are making them. Black and Panther 3's coming. No, it's three, he goes straight to number three. three. Just, just goes straight to number three. Um, <laughs> yeah, he said they've kept the old crew alive, so it's going to be well, like... One last... I said that a lot about the advertising. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hulk, Thor, yeah. Iron Man, Captain America. Yeah. All the four that advertise. Even before I watched the film, they was advertising shoes with all four of them, and I didn't think about it. And I thought, oh, that's... Why because they, they're going to be... And I realised... This is going to be their last go, isn't it? I yeah. Think, isn't it? Yeah, say Black Widow as well. Well, yeah. all their contracts are running up, aren't yeah. they? And they so run out before the next film so as well. They're I all... thought it was after after no, Infinity War. No, I'm sure it, Infinity it, War counts was... as one film. Well, I don't know about Chris Hemsworth, but I'm pretty sure that I was Captain they're... America's last film. No, I what, the no. one just happened? Mm-hmm. No. no, no, no way. No, no, I'm sure... Two. Otherwise they would have killed him. Because that's what everyone was like, well, all their... unless they're being snidey Because imagine if you were Chris Evans, and they're like, yeah, so you're going to come back for... Right. No. <laughs> how much do you want to give me <laughs> Joe yeah. and then at the beginning of the next one he goes oh yeah it was a shame that Captain America went mad and, and drove away and didn't died. they yeah and died and never came back or they'll just cast someone else completely <laughs> Eastwood <laughs> Eastwood son Eastwood son I thought, how'd you get Eastwood Clint like, Eastwood Captain he's America. like oh Captain America's like oh you got an old <laughs> uh, time stone <laughs> time stone <laughs> it wasn't he's like 80, 80 years now <laughs> <laughs> Because it was John Krasinski, did you know that? You know the guy from... Uh, he was supposed to be Captain America. Right? Yeah, it was him, and it was down to him and Chris en- Evans at the last... Uh, uh, that could be a good podcast. We'll save that for later date. What? Actors who nearly were <laughs> big roles Nick and what it could have been like. Nick Cage, too, man. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Nick Cage was going to be Aragorn, wasn't he? Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, actually, because... Well, this is going to be He went through a lot but, of stuff. But Viggo Mortensen wasn't actually the first one filmed. Yeah, I know, he yeah, came in really Stuart late. Stuart Townsend, wasn't it? Yeah. But... Anyway, um, back to anyway, back to, back to Marvel. Uh, yeah, so do you, that felt kind of like a bit, bit, a bit mere. Like they killed him off, but there was no. It felt like it's all just. It was like, oh, don't worry, they're all going to come back. Yeah, yeah that's what exactly. I felt like. That's, that's what, what the, that's like. my biggest problem with it. it I wanted characters to die, and it, it, there was like, oh, they're just going to come back because they killed all the the new characters. Mm. Well, they ended it, and you're like, oh, I don't really care about them. I don't care about that person. 
I feel a bit bad about that one, but do I? I think, yeah, it's, Tom Holland's one in Spider-Man was quite good. Where there's that a little a bit of emotion death. there. Because a little you, bit saw of him a, you saw him a little bit before he just vanished. Exactly. I don't want to go. I don't want to... He was like, so. I don't know what to do, Because he's spi- No one knew what was going on, but his spider sense is new. Don't so he knew that. he was going to go before he did. That's really sad. Yeah. He's like, I, I, don't know, I don't know how I'm feeling and stuff like that. It's like freaking out. He's like, I don't want to die. Exactly. Yeah, so, you know... So Craig and I came up with our own ideas for the ending scenes mm. at the credits. To 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 correct the mistake you think this movie made yeah. by omitting yeah. a certain so character. Because Ant Man, my favourite Marvel character, wasn't in it. You know in the credit scene they say they will return. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. They should have had a scene of him making some tea and having ants put the sugar cubes in the cup. And, and then all of a the sudden ants. half the ants <laughs> disappear. <laughs> and then he's like, Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> that, that would have been, been like, awesome. That would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been the best after credit scene ever. It came to me instantly. What do you reckon cinema. on the credit scene anyway? It was a bit. Yeah, it was about Meh. Captain Marvel, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spoiler. Why, is she, why is she not here anyway? She's like old. Because she. No, she's not old. She. Does she not age The either? film's coming out next year. Yeah. She was a fighter pilot in the uh, US Air Force. I love Harry's background knowledge. Sorry. That's all I know. We no, it's it. good. That's good. That's what I, mean. I love um, it. I love the context. We have context. Because there's a scene's come out where Samuel, 90s, Samuel Jackson it? has he's got younger. both his eyes. Yeah, he's younger. And it's like, see, he's got CGI dots on his yeah. forehead, so they're going to like reduce his wrinkles and stuff. Yeah. He yeah. looks like from Pulp Fiction. Because Coulson's in it, isn't it? Because it's set in the 90s. Coulson's. And Coulson's yeah, back. Phil Coulson's in it. Phil. Yeah, I love Phil. Well, he's still he's still alive anyway. He's in the series. Yeah, I don't believe that. That's yeah. the first time I've ever seen someone in the series that's also in the movies. Yeah, but that's... Because usually that, they change the That character. was a way of carrying it, though, wasn't it, really? If we just they needed a character it. from the show. Well, the films, Samuel Jackson's in it sometimes as well. But that's the thing. His death meant something, didn't it? Yeah. They built that I don't know how that's. I don't know how that's going to then Avengers. affect um, the programme. Because Ghost Rider's in that now. Oh, yeah. Is it, but... It's not Nicolas Cage, <laughs> No, it's no, not. No, I wish it was. Though. It no, it's just curious. It's like, but and well, second, the movie Captain Marvel was set in the nineties, isn't it? So yeah. it doesn't matter if Coulson's alive in the show or anything. Cause, yeah. So yeah. Captain, so it's all up to date at the minute. Like that's all in time with what it is now. Um, but yeah, it's set in the nineties. She's a fighter pilot. Obviously, comes across something, then turns into Captain Marvel. She comes across basically, something. Basically, makes into Captain Marvel. Yeah. I always get annoyed how they they've never put them in the films before or mentioned them or. But it's because Captain she's off, yeah. she's off world, I think. Oh. I think she's somewhere else. So go off world now. That's so that's well, she's got like extraterrestrial powers. I and think they have to wait for Wonder Woman to be a bit before they they greenlit. Oh, before Captain they're allowed a, a woman. They said that. Film. Yeah. Imagine that's crazy. They said it? that. They said they didn't think a woman. That's why there was no Black Widow film. They're doing one now, but apparently they they didn't believe that a woman could carry. The whole film. Yeah, but Wonder Woman was well good. Yeah, exactly. Again, with characters that it felt like it earned something. That was a like Steve proper, Trevor. Only, guys, good, only good. It feels like well, not the only good DC film, but out of the new ones. I've got a controversial opinion. I kind of enjoyed Justice League more than Infinity War. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. I did as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said you loved Infinity War, though. But I agree with that statement. It's quite fun because even though it's, <laughs> you know, I actually think there's more fun. Oh, boy. There's more emotion and feel I don't in know it about and that. things that make I felt sense. More with like Captain Superman coming back a little bit more, and then actually played the Superman music and stuff. I was a bit because like, I actually oh, killed. Actually there was a whole film about Superman dying, and then you're like, oh, crap, he's dead. What are they gonna do? And then like chaos ensues and all that, and then they bring him back in the best way, and he tries to kill them all, and you're like, yeah. I kind of thought. Yeah, Justice League. It is... didn't try too hard to be that deep and emotional. Justice League, I think. So because it didn't try that hard to be like that deep, it, it kind of just felt fun and like entertaining. Whereas this one, it obviously wants to be like you said, the culmination. But they've just don't it get up. me wrong. Because of all the other films, just, yeah, sorry. Marvel's going to make more money and do oh, yeah. so much better than what Justice League did because yeah. Justice League mucked up with well, DC mucked up with all the other films. Justice League was starting from a lower point, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so they have not had like the high. He's done her, this. As a, apart from Wonder in Woman, their, they've not had their... the high. But then Avengers Assemble was the first film, and yeah. that was good. Mm. Yeah, that's so... true. Do you think part two is going to be any good? Do yeah. you see it? 
it, it's got to be a lot more action. But a lot of people have loved. I, thought, I, I don't. No, see, I found that the action was yeah. pointless. You can say your thing about what, like your your word, wasn't it? That you did to the, that was missing. What, like the, there was just no human story yeah, to exactly, it. Exactly, that's what you're getting at. That's, it didn't feel yeah, that the only human. one that had a story like a human emotion you felt for was Thor. Exactly. Yeah. And Gamora, and and Gamora a little bit. And yeah. Gamora, yeah. But yeah, there was no... Even Thanos. With, with films and like, you know, TV programmes, you go for the entertainment and you go for the fun. But you want to leave with that human feeling, emotion. And we're, we're watching... And you're like, what a film. We're watching superhero films, aren't we? And Craig was talking about this the other day, that don't you want to see the superheroes struggle and then prove that they're human as well? And they, they can overcome... This, Conflict. Yeah, this is What's the thing, about, isn't it? Like yeah. that, that, we watch movies, not just for fun and entertainment, but we do watch them to learn stuff. That's why we watch films, don't we? I think, or watch yeah. art and stuff. We want to learn stuff about life. You mean like you want to learn like how in Green Lantern he's like, I'm only human. That sort of thing. And yeah, that was an himself. example, but yeah. Like but, I lessons. mean, I was thinking, yeah, but life lessons. We watch them to learn life lessons, don't we? And... I think, see, this is why people didn't like Last Jedi. They wanted it just to be like awesome and fun and satisfy all their fan theories. And kill everyone. But I think the film was better because it was, a, it was about life lessons, mm-hmm. overcoming failure, there dealing with it. There was a lot of lessons Learning that, that maybe sometimes you can't just, you're not going to win all the time, especially against like, the, and when you said about there the was... human stuff, it's like, the, the Avengers, the, 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 like, that's why Black Panther worked so brilliantly, didn't it? I think it was a proper film, had less action, but it was you cared about the characters a lot more. It's because there was and they wins and losses on both sides, exactly, rather yeah. than just the bad guys throughout the film and then the good guys come back at the end. And being a superhero, this is the hard thing about superheroes, isn't it? No, I, I'd agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're saying, Harry. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, Harry. I love it when you two go off. It's funny. Oh. <laughs> you get disgruntled with each other. Oh, I'm not disgruntled. <laughs> nor am I. Nor, nor am I. <laughs> nor I. Um, nor am I. Yeah, exactly. That bit like, was funny, like wasn't Chris it? Pat. Yeah, that bit was funny. <laughs> I think Infinity War missed an opportunity for the my man. My man. So that's in Justice League. So <laughs> Aquaman says it. So <laughs> We need it in the next one. Um, I can't because it's copying, isn't it? This, uh, yeah, but it's in everything, <laughs> isn't it? But... Dude, I think. Can <laughs> you imagine? So, like, yes, Chris, like, dude. What dude. you put in it? <laughs> dude. Um, you anyway. could play Captain America. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you could do. Yeah, so we were going about to say about being a superhero, and this is why a lot of people kind of shit on the old Sam Raimi, Tad Maguire Spider Man films, but those films had a message, and the I message love was. Yeah, they're brilliant films because they have a message that. Being a superhero is not actually that much fun, and but doing the right thing, well, being like a good person, is quite like hard. Number three, although it's slated out of the the three of the films, it's got a life lesson in there as well, where yeah. it turns into a dick, and then no one dick. likes him. Yeah, don't be a dick. Um, yeah, and it's a good yeah, and that's the good that's the message of those ones. Whereas mm. these Marvel ones, they don't seem to want to being a superhero is pretty awesome, and even if you die, like, it doesn't matter because we'll, we'll, we'll cheat death. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah. obviously, yeah, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're going to come back, aren't they? Mm. Do you reckon how far into it, into the second one, do you think it will be? Do you reckon it will be at the end? I've Are they going to get a whole end, film? Towards the end of the film, I think. Or do you I think it will be towards the end of the film, because I know they'll get away. If they can't like just be like, comes back and they're like, the opening scenes, they're all there in the room. No, like, I mean, <laughs> that would be, be typical Marvel, now, wouldn't it? Or they're like, all in that uh, uh, shawarma back. bar. Luckily, yeah. we know <laughs> they're all in a like, shawarma bar. Like. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> luckily, we just invented this machine. It will come back. They're like, whoa. Yeah, but what I mean is, do you, do they come back and then fight him? Do you think, or do they think in defeating him it brings, brings them it all back. back? I think because so. I heard that they, you couldn't. That would be a good. They idea. had to have Spider Man in Infinity War because he's got a big role to play, which means he's got to come back at some point. Maybe or what they because that's is, why they tried so hard to get. Him. What do is Professor away. X sends back Wolverine? <laughs> 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 just confuse things even more. <laughs> Imagine if Hugh Jackman was just in it; it'd be amazing. Well, he said he's he, never coming back. Or X. Well, I think he's going to be coming back. I think he would have fitted into the uh, MCU universe really well, though. He would have done, actually. I I think think he would have fitted in with the cast. The thing is, I think it would have been really good. Wolverine, Fantastic Four are all supposed to be part of the Avengers. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. But yeah, wouldn't Wolverine have fitted so well? Yeah, of course I think he would have done. It would have been that extra Do you know what really annoyed me? Personality. Why, Why couldn't they just do the original suit? I know. I, I, out of all That's those seven movies... That's the only thing that's ever annoyed me. We didn't get that yellow suit. 
Yeah, but that's what Deadpool takes the mick out of all the time. I know, he? but it would have looked fun. I would have liked it. Just I would have loved it so much. His childhood memories, like yeah. watching all the cartoons and that when he's in the suit. Do you reckon they would have stuck him in it <coughs> if he was in Deadpool? Um, yes, just, the MCU. I think so. If he if he was in Deadpool, I think he'd be in that suit. They'd make him wear it, hundred percent. Mm. I just think it would be funny. I don't, can't. Can you imagine like and Ryan Hugh Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are always like, together? I think he's in this film. I did see some. He's not, I he saw some he's not. artwork. Don't know if it's true, <laughs> but him and yeah. him and Deadpool both him and Ryan Reynolds both shared it. It's Deadpool standing over a, a grave with like the cross there, and the, the grave's moved over. No, I, don't I want think him to be that. back in it. Hugh Jackman said he doesn't want to do it. He anymore. will pay him so much money. Who's going to pay him? Ryan Reynolds. He's <laughs> <laughs> pay all his money that he's getting from Deadpool. Yeah, just for him to be in it. Anyway, back to Infinity War. Yeah, back to Infinity Wars. I think. Do you want to know my theory? Yeah, no, I do actually. Yeah. Um, I think there's a multiverse because in Marvel there is a multiverse okay so they're in another realm that's parallel to the universe that's where the other half have gone to because mm-hmm. if you notice he always used to in Gamora's planet he kills the other half of the people why would you go for all that effort to find the infinity stones to do it for you Yes, another thing doesn't quite make a lot of sense. So, I think... There's only way he can do it across the universe. He's a good bad guy. He's a good bad guy. Because Mm. he wants to preserve the universe so everyone doesn't kill each other. Because he doesn't want to kill everyone on Earth. And also... All he wants to do is take away half so the world thrives. Because... Why not just double the size of the universe? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. No. So what he's doing is putting the other half into another another realm where they all can coexist with each other what, an empty realm where nothing like is? An em- like a, an empty realm. I don't think so, but... Well, maybe, because... Because it, he, with the Infinity Stones, he's powerful enough to do it that. It could happen. It could be a cheeky way for them to say the they're not actually dead. Finger. I know what you mean. It's not just a cheeky so way. So they're not actually like. dead. Ant-Man goes to the multiverse, doesn't he? Ant-Man can go through... Oh, shit, he does yeah. in, in the, That's in the what training. I mean. so, That's what I mean. Joe Harry, you I might think you there. might have hit on something there. He, he, they say, if you go through, <clears> you go, is it... Sub nuclear or something like that, and you yeah, go you to the multiverse the through the realms. Yeah, that's yeah. where he's P- Pim's wife is. He's the only one that's ever come back from doing that. Yeah. Do you think Pim tries to go through to retrieve I'm his wife? Sure that's what finds doing. out. See, he's Doctor there's Strange. There's another realm. Around. Doctor Strange's like, oh, I'm what Doctor Strange. Here? <laughs> yeah. And it, oh, we're using our made-up names now. <laughs> yeah. some, that's the thing. There's some funny bits where they kind of rub up against each other and like um. Because that's actually his real name. He's, he's, Doctor, yeah, Strange. Yeah. <laughs> he's exactly. Doctor Strange. And like you said, the Chris Pratt bit where he's like, get off my ship. Like, Why are you talking he's like that? Like, I always I, talk I, like I'm this. I'm the captain here. <laughs> I'm the captain of the ship. He's, like, he's doing my voice. He's like, no, you're doing my voice. He's like, oh. he's like I'm going. <laughs> so there was some quite funny bits in it as well, wasn't it? Like that. And uh... There always is though in Marvel, isn't there? Yeah, that's what makes it fun. But it just, it, it lacked the depth, I think. <laughs> like Drax. Drax is always good. Dave Batista. Is yeah, he's kind of funny. <laughs> he's like, he's like, like, but he's like, but you're fat, <laughs> and he's muscular. <laughs> you're one sandwich away from being fat. <laughs> to have a, like, a double chin, isn't it? Something like that. One thing I read was about uh, putting characters together. Apart from the fun of watching them act off against each other and kind of the thrill of that, what other dramatic purpose does it serve? Another, I think, another oh, thing is yeah. again trailers. <laughs> Aye. Trailers again. The there's trailer made of, it look so much cooler. There's quite a lot of was. bits that weren't in, were in the trailer that weren't in the film, was there? Like there's a shot of Hulk running alongside them. Yeah, because that's because and... this is him in Hulkbuster. Have you not noticed that? They've it's just actually put him in Hulkbuster. Yeah. That's, that's the that was the ploy of the post. I think they were trying like to hide that. some stuff, weren't there? Some surprises and things, but to say Hulk's not actually because if Hulk was in it, it would have ended differently. Hmm. It's just well, because no, Thanos beat him up in the ship. That was, I thought that was quite cool. How quick he was. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was awesome because yeah. it was actually like quite a quick fight. Can you imagine good. a planet of them invading you? You get knackered. Well, Thanos is. A Thanos' planet. They all killed each other, didn't they? Planet of Thanos. Thanos. That's the thing. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't want what happened to his planet to happen to the rest of the universe. So he culled the world. What I don't understand is how, why, why is there a part two? Do they go after him then? Well, yeah, they're not just going to give up, are they? No, but like, Thor's only just got his new weapon. It said Thanos would Oh, you back. like the uh, Peter Dinklage cameo? I didn't know he was in it. And yeah. it was like... Yeah, Have yeah. you not seen the things where it shows, like, spoilers alert, and there's, like, pictures of different things, like the Squidward and, like, a picture of Peter Dinklage and things like that? Yeah. No. Yeah, there's, it's like there's unrelated 
pictures like that I want actually to try and create spoil that actually create yeah. spoilers in the film so you'd only understand if you've watched it mm. yeah. which is quite good yeah Peter, yeah, like yeah. Peter Stinkley just you know he was just the same size but just a giant that was quite a funny it was quite yeah because he was a dwarf but yeah. a giant dwarf yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite good a surprise but a welcome one <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised to be sure. <laughs> he doesn't get it. I don't I'll, get it. I'll tell him after. Tell me after. It's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. No, it's cool. Yeah, I think I think we've kind of said everything we're going to say. I think, I think so. Um, now. All right, let's talk about Thanos. What about him. I think we do that. Oh, just running was quite good, didn't he? Brought a lot, of, like you said, brought a lot of emotion to it. I wasn't expecting. I like the to. way he's playing both the bad guys in the Marvel films coming out. Mm. He's playing Cable as well, isn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. He's a good actor. I always quite liked him. But, um, yeah, but I think... Yeah, and he's quite... Do you think he's a good bad guy? He certainly is. He's a necessary uh, evil uh, in the threat, universe? A threat. No, that's all... Bull- it's n- the problem is you can't quite believe his theory because it's just stupid, isn't it? That stuff would never work. What, the whole theory of... Oh, killed all the doctors in the like world. Like we said, yeah. If you killed all the doctors, like just randomly accidentally killed half of the, all the doctors in the world, or the, like, the administrators... I mean, the would world you not would find it odd that collapse. he didn't just kill... Like, if he could take away half the universe, wouldn't you take away all the powerful ones that could destroy you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, but that would be the dictatorship, though, isn't it? That's why he's trying to be fair and be like random and stuff, isn't it? But, find it, but I suppose the point is, this is kind of what Kingsman hit on as well, is that he's not in danger. Like, Thanos is all right. So it's nice for him to say, like, yeah, everyone's, I'm, I'm just doing it for the universe, but Thanos is all right, making sure he's all right, isn't he? Like, yeah. And, um, but I think... The gauntlet breaks, doesn't it? After he snaps his fingers. It, Do the stones, like, get destroyed then? No, the stones don't get destroyed. Um, only something that's powerful. I didn't, as it, I didn't like, notice that. The like, gauntlet was it, all like... It all crumpled. Did it? Yeah. It all crumpled up because he, he was he was looking at the gauntlet. He Thor, can only do it once. When he had the yeah. axe in the chest, he was going, "What have you done? Yeah. What have you done?" And then everyone starts because he goes into like a, a realm, doesn't he? Like, yeah, yeah, that was a bit weird. That's what I thought right? it was like a dream state. Joe, you know, like in Harry Potter, when he goes to the train station, it's all yeah, white, yeah, 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 yeah. and he sees Dumbledore. No, no, I felt that, yeah. I felt pretty much like that. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, <laughs> Harry was transported. <laughs> I was like, he should have gone there and been like, "Oh, I'm in the wrong place." <laughs> <laughs> You imagine, you just, <laughs> I'm just like, oh. just like yeah I didn't quite understand that bit about I, on, that's why like. I think there's another a multiverse could be so he's gone you back in time he's gone though. back in time into like a dream state and she's like did you do it and then he goes I've done it like he's completely dream he can now relax and rest and then she's like smiling and I hold her hand and so he snaps back out of it mm. and then Thor's like shouting him like, and it wakes what him up shit. And he comes back, and then all of a sudden he's in this random place. It looks like he's on Earth, but he's not. I, I, know, think, he's on planet, I think I he's on another planet. Yeah. I think he's on his home planet I think in the, the other universe that he's created. Maybe. So that his planet has now come back and it's real again, but it's only him on it, so he's in peace. Do you reckon he might have taken them ones with him to that universe then? Well, remember the reality stone where he just changed everything yeah. so it looked like home? So, in the next one then, so let's go with your reality universe idea. Do we then see it? Yeah. Are we then going to have the film like Ant-Man. it was? So we're going to have... We're Ant-Man going to following Captain it. America and Iron Man trying to save everyone. And then we're then going to switch over to Quill and Spider-Man and everyone else in their multiverse. Maybe. Until they figure it out together. I, I, think, Ant- I think Ant-Man will find them. Because he's travelled. Do you want that what, to happen? Hawkeye is going to shoot an arrow with said, Ant-Man holding on. And they're going to go to the multiverse. But yeah. If Ant- <laughs> Do you think that the best Marvel movies have been the ones that have been least connected to the Marvel Universe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The yeah. ones with the least so amount the of setting books. up for the Avengers storylines have been the most enjoyable. Obviously, they can't do it exactly the same as the Black comics because everyone knows what happened and you wouldn't want to go watch it. Yeah. No, as, exactly. as, as much as everyone wants the things in the comic books but to then happen, also, would you watch it? If you imagine, can, can you imagine someone who's not really, who's only seen like a couple of these movies trying to watch Infinity War? Yeah, that's the point. Are you trying to sell it to people who have been there from the start? Or are you trying to are. sell it to people? Well, there was a guy that wrote an article last week from the New York uh, Times or something, and his basic review was like, this makes no sense. If you haven't watched the film, this is absolutely stupid. It doesn't say, and everyone was going, oh, what an idiot, what a fool, like, you're moron. Of course you're supposed to have watched the other films, and they don't, you're but, not supposed to. But then some people were saying, yeah, but maybe he's got a point, like, shit. I don't know. Like, but I, they've, honestly, built up, they've built up the films through the other ones. No, so I what? think they did a pretty good job of making it noob-friendly. 
Yeah. Because there was no, as you said, there was no intimate the... moments between the characters anyway. Maybe. There was no referring back to events that had happened, so you didn't need to worry explained about that. Explain the Infinity Stones. Explain the Infinity Stones, how we got cleared them. that up for me, because I was like, what? I still don't know how the Infinity Stones are. So my movies. point is, is that there was nothing to me, there was nothing, which is why I was disappointed in it, is there was nothing there that related back to 10 years anyway. Mm. If so you, you thought it would have been a white. If you, the only thing you would have struggled with is if I suppose you didn't know who the characters were. Yeah, which might be a bit of an issue in a movie, wouldn't it? But if they're not going to do anything good anyway, does it matter? The thing say I say, if you, I went in wanting Captain America to fight Thanos or be heroic or save people, that didn't happen. So I was really disappointed. But if you went in and you were like, "Who's that?" and like, I don't know, but doesn't matter because he didn't do anything anyway. Maybe. This is probably one of the best films to watch out of all of them for the blank canvas. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Do you think that hurts the film there, doesn't it? It does. Because it's so kind of hollow. Because like you, you, you can watch it. If you haven't watched any of them, you can watch. If you watched a couple, then uh, you might you have an idea of going on. Yeah. I mean, maybe if you just want to know who characters are, I suppose. But in terms, I say, in terms of Finney Stanton and the rest Do of it, you not think that Thanos is so powerful, or even not without all of them? Like the one that the Guardians of the Galaxy held, he had that one. Why didn't kill people and do anything? That's what I don't understand. I, you know when you know, he's the, the, so all, he's got the Black Order, which are like his kids that he's procured, like orphans, mm. and made his like minions that slave over him, like Banana. to do his like dirty work. Yeah. Why is he? What's the point in having them if he's so so awful, all powerful and all knowing? I don't know. Because he wasn't to start with, was he? He needed them to get the stones for him. Yeah, exactly. Well, he had an army. Yeah, I know. Over Hulk. Like, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in general, you really liked it. You thought it was amazing. I liked the fight. No. It was your word. That was my initial thought. I, I feel like we've tainted you. Really? I, no, I, I, did, I did. The more I think about it, the more I think. Hmm, was it? Like The Last Jedi. The more I thought about it, the more I liked it. But with, this is the, this this is the opposite. opposite. I'm going the opposite. I was saying the other day that this is. That this is it's like McDonald's. These kind of movies like that are like McDonald's. You enjoy it at first. It feels good eating <laughs> it. Like it feels good at first. As you're having it, you're enjoying it. It feels good. But a few hours later, you're hungry again and realise it wasn't all that. And then if yeah. you kept eating it every day, you'd feel ill. <laughs> I feel, and I think these kind of movies... I feel was like last really hungry for more. Black Panther was... Yeah, but there's no nourishment. Do you know what I mean, there's nothing inside it. No, it's that's... Whole, what, empty no, calories. This, this is what, this is what like, I mean. With Black Panther, everything explained, everything full was banquet. done, everything was sorted, you didn't need, and don't need another Black Panther film. No, I totally, honestly, yeah. I, there could never be another Black Panther, I'd be happy with that. Because yeah. I think they'll ruin it. That's why I'm scared about Kill ruining my, this one. That's why I think they might just cancel it, because it will save them a hell of a lot of money. No, they won't. No, it won't. No, no, they, they can wait like a billion, made over, well over a billion dollars worldwide. Yeah, the first one, but I think they'll ruin the second one. They it have don't matter, to do it. Doesn't it doesn't matter. 900 doesn't million matter, profit. Right. Make it. They won't ruin it, you're absolutely right. They'll lose the essence of what the story was, but they'll make those money. Well, that's the thing, if you, if you made another one in the DC right. films like right. that, if you made another one in the, <laughs> in the, in the DC films, you, would, uh, you wouldn't make profit on it. No, exactly. But because it's been built up so well, you will in this film, and that's the shit. It's right. a shame, isn't it? It's I a think shame. we might have to wrap it up. I'm running out of space on the recording device, <laughs> so. Um, um, but yeah. yeah, go see Infinity War. See what you think. See what you think. Let us know. Don't, let us know. Don't listen to the ramblings of old men. Mm-hmm. Even though we're not old. Maybe we're should we cut something and start watching Infinity War first before you listen to us? Mm-hmm. They should know. People know now. They should have watched it by now. We spoiled it anyway. So. Just put spoilers in the title. Right, fine. so um, <laughs> we've been screaming to void. I'm Craig. I'm Bruce. I'm Harry. Thanks very much, guys. We were saying about another yeah, we, program. Right? Post credit scene. Unless I watch, you know, the car forward. at the end. It pulls up and who's in it? And <laughs> and uh, Samuel Jason walks around and it's Deadpool. In the vehicle, and he's like, "I made it into Infinity War, boys!" <laughs> and then suddenly, he just starts melting. And he's like, "No!" And he's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> as he just, as he like goes away. <laughs> ah.